Hello guys, it's Robo here and welcome to another episode of the Dollars and Cents Review. Today we've got a little mishap between a married couple that are pretty much arguing between each other on whether or not they should pay off their home early or to invest the rest of their disposable income into uh, retirement accounts. So let's get into it. So reading this scenario here, spouse is hyper-focused on paying off mortgage but neglecting, saving for retirement, in the meantime, need advice. So reading the description, my spouse and I are in our early 30s, both with stable jobs grossing about $200,000 a year. They have three kids and they bought a house back in 2021 for $400,000 with a 3.5% interest rate. Oh my god, what a great interest rate. So let's just keep reading on to it. So the mortgage is $1,600 a month and they currently average $1,000 left over in disposable income every month. And one of them is contributing 10% to their 401k and the other one is doing 5%. So the frustration is that the uh, spouse believes that paying off the mortgage should be a priority. They pay an extra six dollars to $800 every month with the principal. And because they have such a low interest rate, there's a little bit of a mishap on whether or not they should be paying off the mortgage or investing for retirement. So getting into it, oh my god, do not pay off this mortgage, not financial advice, but you're sitting on an absolutely amazing interest rate of 3.5%. And I don't talk about it a lot on this channel, but that's nominal and real interest rates. So I pretty much explain that. Nominal interest rates is the interest rate that you see. Real interest rates are pretty much adjusting for either inflation or deflation. So in this scenario, because there's a lot of inflation going on in general, I don't think personally it's going to go back down to 2%. It could be 3%, etc, etc. So to get your real interest rate, you have to take the nominal and subtract the inflation rate. So let's just say, for example, the inflation is going to average out to 3% for like the next 20 years, which I don't think it will. So you pretty much take 3.5 minus 3 and then 0.5% is your real interest rate. So oh my god, do not pay off those mortgage i mean overall the mortgage payment is 1600 dollars a month which is also very low because you did not buy like you know a huge massive house for a million dollars and then your mortgage payment is like 3500 dollars. so thank god you guys did not do that i don't know how much is currently in your retirement accounts and everything but i can see 10 percent for 1k and then five percent for the um, other spouse so automatically if there's an equal split between the salaries so 100,000 each that's not going to be fully maxing out your uh, 401k so for the love of god max out your 401k roth IRA, all that stuff take your extra disposable income and just invest it for your retirement because when it comes to investments you live in a home but you live off your investments that's actually a quote from jim on tiktok i'm actually going to put a clip up from him in a second but pretty much he keeps talking about on his account and he is 100 percent right how your primary residence is not a freaking investment like what the hell are you going to do in retirement when you've got you know locked up home equity and then you've got nothing safe for retirement you're just going to borrow against your home and just pretty much die with all that debt like what the hell are you going to freaking do pretty much only do the minimum monthly payment for this mortgage because the interest rate like i said is so low don't even think about putting an extra cent towards that freaking principal and because you guys have like a very high income i'm not sure what your after tax take home pay is every single month but I can tell that $1,600 a month isn't going to be much to you guys. Just invest for your retirement. You're going to thank yourself because like, what the hell are you going to do with all that locked up home equity when you're retired? So yeah, let's get into this clip right now. You just have to accept that your home's not an investment. Buying a home will not make you rich. That's just the facts. 66% of people own homes. Only 1% of people are actually wealthy. Your middle class home yesterday is a middle class home today, will be a middle class home tomorrow. You're not getting rich off that thing. You can talk about how much the house has appreciated over all these years, how much leverage you've taken, but you've just ignored all the debt, all the maintenance, insurance, property tax, capital expense, and you're still working for a salary. That's just the facts. Not saying renting is better than owning or not to buy a house. Just saying that if you do buy a home, make sure you invest because that home's not making you rich. Never has, never will. Good luck. Take care. Here's an easy way to tell that your home is not an investment. So easy Gen Z can understand. Whatever your socioeconomic class, lower class, middle class, upper class, whatever, buying a home will never change that. If you were middle class before buying a home, after you buy the home, still middle class. 10 years from now, still middle class. 30 years from now, still middle class. Investments, on the other hand, will change your socioeconomic class. You can go from poor to wealthy by investing. Whatever class you were before buying the primary residence, you're the same after you sell it. That's why homes are called forced savings accounts. Now you know. Good luck. Take care. And reading back on the post as well, it also was pointed out that while they will be living in a paid off home, there's going to be nothing safe for retirement. Do not put anything extra towards your mortgage. You want to max out your tax advantage accounts and, you know, buy total wealth index funds and have that money grow for your retirement. And also reading here, they're in their late 30s. So I'm not 100% sure, like I just said, how much is in the retirement and everything, but you should be going balls to the wall and freaking trying to invest as much as you can to pretty much save up for your retirement and obviously live comfortably because you're not going to live off your home equity. You're going to live off your actual investments that you're going to be making. Alrighty, guys, it's basically going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below it was a very short one because this is just an easy scenario i saw this i was like fish bash bosh freaking don't touch that mortgage at all definitely best for your retirement like subscribe guys and i'll see you guys in the next video